the presence of the King. Thank you, Lord, for your power, your authority to change things, to change the course of life, to do what we could not and cannot do our own, on our own. Thank you, Lord. Maybe the greatest thing that we have to be thankful for is that we have access to where you are. Though you are God, though you're the ruler of this world, the creator of this world, though nothing escapes your eye, you know all things, no one sins without you knowing it, no one goes their own way, but the Bible says your eyes are going to and fro, looking for people who will serve you. Those that will experience access into your presence and your power. You're looking for them. You were looking for us when you found us. God, I pray for revelation and knowledge that will go beyond what this preacher was able to say today. Hearts would experience what God has prepared for whosoever. I wish I could think of some other passages that I stood here long enough today. More would come to support what we've tried to say today. But there, hear me what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know how much more I can say. What else I can say <laughs> than to say that God is for you. He's not against you. God is for you. Whatever God has, He's interested in sharing it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so Come on, sing it, church. that we have in you. 
who we are in you. What you've promised in you. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of you have heard already what I'm about to tell you, and um, uh, we've announced it, we give it, told the church board some time ago, and recently on a Wednesday night. But Janice and I are going to be retiring soon. This has been the hardest thing that we've ever done in our life. I say that not to impress you, but with all my heart and soul, I tell you that it's it's been a very difficult, difficult decision. But we feel like it's time. We feel like that the Lord has greater things for this church. I believe the greatest days are ahead for this church. And just, we feel like personally we need to step down, step out of the way and let God do what He desires and desires to do. Janice and I have given more than half of our life to this church. Her many more years than I. She personally grew up in this church for the most of her young life. She was playing the piano for the church at 16, I think she said. So, collectively, her and, uh, her and I both together, collectively, we've given over 80 years of service to this church. I feel old. <laughs> I feel old. And I realize that most of you, in fact, the vast majority of you, in fact, all of you, have come since we've been here. We came to this church in 1983. There were 12 people here. And they're all gone. Most of them are with the Lord or they're not here. God has been so good to us. And it's been such an honor, such a blessing, such a privilege, such, such a, I'll say this twice, a blessing to be a part of this church. It's hard to walk away. I, some of you will have a hard time forgiving me for taking Janice away from me. <laughs> but, uh, we haven't set a date, a, a specific date as yet. Uh, we'll, we'll be announcing that later. But thank you for receiving this. And, and I understand that it's hard. You, most of you have never been through a pastoral change. It's not a nightmare. It's not a nightmare. It's just a time of prayer and a time of sensitivity to the Lord. And, uh, it will be according to you. You're not going to be have anybody pushed on you. You don't have to take a preacher you don't want. Uh, you'll get a vote. And the majority always wins. Still win. The majority still works even in church. But uh, pray for us and thank you for the prayers for us. And uh, uh, we love you. Thank God for you. I have more to say. Time goes on. Amen. Will you receive his word today? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day. Amen.